If your Steam Deck isn't charging to 100%, this behavior is often intentional and designed to protect your battery's long-term health. Valve has implemented intelligent battery management algorithms in SteamOS 3.5 and later versions. These systems may intentionally limit charging, often stopping between 95 and 98%. The Steam Deck uses a 40-watt-hour lithium-ion battery with a sophisticated smart charging system. This includes three distinct phases, rapid charging from 0 to 80%, slower trickle charging from 80 to 100%, and a maintenance mode for plugged-in operation. Industry experts have found that regularly charging to 100% and staying plugged in leads to 15 to 20% more battery degradation after 18 months, compared to unplugging at 90 to 95%. Another factor affecting charging behavior is calibration drift. Over time, the battery gauge can become inaccurate, leading to incorrect readings about the actual charge level and capacity remaining. Understanding these battery management features helps explain why your Steam Deck may not always charge to 100%. This behavior is actually protecting your device's long-term battery health and performance. When your Steam Deck won't charge to 100%, start with a power cycle calibration. This process recalibrates the battery gauge and often resolves charging issues. Heat is a major factor affecting charging performance. When your Steam Deck gets too hot, thermal throttling kicks in and limits charging current to protect the battery and components. Using the correct charger is crucial for optimal charging performance. The official 45-watt charger provides the best results, but certified USB-C power delivery chargers also work well. For optimal long-term battery health, follow these daily charging habits. Avoid deep discharges by keeping your battery above 20% and unplug when it reaches 90 to 95% for daily use. If these troubleshooting steps don't resolve the issue, you may be dealing with hardware problems. Charging IC failures or USB-C port degradation can prevent proper charging and may require contacting Valve for a replacement.